Hi Aquarius, I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot on YouTube and Buddy Advice on Facebook. This is your March Romance reading. Sorry I'm a bit late, but there's a lot of changes uh, like I've been promising for months and they're coming to, to fruition now. If you're a new viewer, welcome to the channel and please subscribe and hit the bell, then you'll be notified when we go live, when I go live, or when something new is happening. Monday and Friday nights are the English uh, live session nights, and that's where you can get free cards, and you can also do super stickers and super chats. If you have a specific question, I answer your question with three cards and an oracle card. If you would like an extensive reading, then please find the information below this video or the email, the uh, the, the website, etc., etc. And also in here in the corner, you can find a white circle with an eye, and that will take you straight to my website. I'm using the uh, um, oracle. Romance Oracle deck, and I'm where, um, I'm using the House of Shadows by Monica Bodirsky, and it's a lovely card deck, and it looks a bit. It's got a lot of sense of humour, and obviously I love using it because it's not because it's new, but it's different, and it's got a character of its own, and you can get really deep messages from it. Now, I've got to sort this out because I can't remember um, how the cards were. Because I, at the end of Capricorn, I added the um, the uh, the last card of the deck. So that is what is lying underneath. And I'm shaking the Michael card now, and I'll just put it in at the top. You will see what the card is anyway at the end of the reading. Okay, Aquarius, I hope you've had a good month so far. The spring is already here. We've got more sunshine than uh, before, and the rain is hopefully stopping. But it will come back from time to time, so we don't have a drought in the summer. Okay. Right, we're going to start off with... The first week in March, I know it's already passed, but now you can see whether it resonates with you or not. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And that's quite true. If you don't take care of yourself and if you don't love yourself, you won't be the beacon to catch somebody's eye. But if you are already matched up, it still means the same thing. Love yourself first. So... Take care of yourself, love yourself first, and then you'll be the beacon. You'll be like a breath of fresh air every day. Now we've got the uh, clarification card, we've got the birds. And here I think it's so humorous. Like if you don't take care of yourself, you might feel in prison. You might feel tied up. You might feel, oh, I don't want to get out of bed. So take care of yourself. This card is also sending you a message. Okay, so don't get tied up in the old um, routine of life, the old slog. Free yourself, be free, shine that, and project that, and you'll be attractive more so than if you sit around and uh, isolate yourself, because then you'll imprison yourself. The birds also means that you'll be getting news, you might be going to presentations, meetings, parties, gatherings, but somebody might have also flown the group or the coop. The coop meaning a house, so it could be a teenage child that is leaving the house and going to start living on their own, so that's why you've got more time to take care of yourself. You'll have to get used to that. <laughs> It's pretty hard. I've been there. I'm also a mum of two children. And you've got separation. Separation, time apart from your partner, is on the horizon. Yes, perhaps your partner is helping the child to move home. Perhaps he, might, he or she might be going on a business trip or taking time out and taking care of herself and taking a, a, a long weekend with girlfriends. 
just to get that fresh start so that she can shine for you when she comes back and for herself. Then we've got number 24 and we've got the hearts. The heart means that you might, um, the heart, look at those stitches. The heart has been broken many a times. Well, kids and people can do that. And that's when you have to have a retreat to mend, up, mend the heart again. So you might be meeting a new love or you might be finding a new passion. Now that you're, this is hypothetical, it might not resonate with you, but everybody's got a different scenario. Perhaps you might find a new hobby, a new passion. Uh, you might start d becoming more active because you're taking care of yourself. And that is loving yourself as well. So because your child has left home. So you've got more time on your hands. Through keeping fit and doing what you like, um, the joy will come back. So if your partner does have to travel uh, for business or have to go away for some reason, then this is not a permanent separation. Okay, this is just for business or something uh, to do with family business perhaps or family issues. Attraction, there you go. You've, your heart is mended, you've taken out the time. The heart, there is a saying, when, um, uh, what is it? When the heart grows fonder, when uh, out of mind, out, uh, out of mind, out of sight, and the heart grows fonder, that is the saying. So, then it will work both ways. Attraction, you attract romantic love by enjoying the moment fully. So enjoy the moment fully that you can recuperate your heart and uh, get it back together again, find a new passion. And, um, and that will also show your partner that you can manage alone, but you um, then, then when you come back, you'll be twice as happy and luck is on your side as you've got the clover and look at that, the money bag in this deck, you've got the money bag tied onto the clover. So there is luck, there is balance, money wise or uh, uh, love wise. You are holding on to something and it is there. You're saving perhaps for a rainy day. Perhaps you found a new job, uh, a, a little job that you can do whilst your husband is away so that you can take time out with your loved one when he gets back and that's a surprise. Yes, this is your soulmate. So when he comes back, it could be the third week, it could be the fourth week, and you have a surprise for him. Although the clouds are here, you might have had a, mis a disagreement that you didn't want him to go and it didn't feel nice, but you're back in balance here because after rain comes sunshine, especially when you've got a surprise for him or her when she comes or he comes back from business <clears throat> travel. And the overall energy, like I said, is balance and luck. And you can see that in the last card because the boats were used for import and export and this is a jellyfish and he can sting. So if you look at the clouds, perhaps somebody got stung, um, but your boat is coming in. This could be love, this could be money because they had to go on business. Yes, the business trip was successful. You had your own time to do your own thing. So perhaps you might have made money, like I said, or love could be coming in because you might have arranged something because you were saving for a rainy day. So prosperity is coming in, be it love or business-wise. The overall energy is getting to know each other. Yes, even if you've been married 10 or 20 years or longer, uh, to keep this um, refreshing issue a refresh, a, a moment, or, or a fresh, a breath of fresh air in the relation to keep ship, is to uh, have moments apart. Your husband might have mates and go fishing or go to a football match. Who knows? 
and yeah, you'll have to get to know each other again. It's fun. Also, after an argument. But there's no use having arguments all the time because that will turn out negative in the long run. But making up, getting to know each other again, is it like a new love has in your life. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Yes, it will grow stronger. And take time out. Don't want any children or third parties hanging around when they get back. So, love is in the air. Okay, great stuff. I think it's awesome. And then we've got the Archangel Michael card, and that's a green card, and green means also space. You need space together, especially if, uh, if a child has left the house, you need to get to know each other again on a different level. That is exciting. Um, green means money, healing, health, visual memory, the third eye clearing. Your third eye might be opening up and you might be more susceptible to things that, uh, to see things from another perspective, or you might even get psychic. Archangel Michael delivers a powerful healing to remove a negative visual memory from your mind's eye. There you go. Archangel Michael, if you call him in, he will clear your third eye of any bad or ill memories. And you will be healing from that. Perhaps your partner is taking time out to give you time to heal. Then you've got the peach angel feather. And the peach angel feather, you can eat peaches. You can meditate on peach. You can wear peach secret desire the angels are aware of your innermost desires and dreams hand them over for safekeeping because they and give it give trust them with your secret desire and ask them visualize manifest to make it come true if you can't manifest if you can't visualize then make a visionary board and you can take out pictures of holidays, camping trips, I don't know what you're wishing, a new house or a, a, a modernization uh, of your house. Make a visionary board how you would like your house to see or where you want to go on holiday and put this board somewhere that you pass several times a day and just acknowledge it. That is manifesting and visualizing. Let the universe know what you would like. And be careful what you wish for, because wishes do come true, especially if you undertake action with manifestation and visualization and patience. Okay, my darlings, I hope you have liked this reading and I hope you have a wonderful month. And I hope you've already had it. two good weeks and there's more and better things coming for you. So, I wish you luck with all your um, adventures of getting to know each other again. Wow. Take care. Take care. Be blessed. And please share and like with family and friends. Give us the thumbs up. And I'll be back on Monday and Friday nights. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.